lens should you be doing it at Oasis Family Medicine? What is LENS? LENS stands for Low Energy Neurofeedback System. A uh, little backdrop, we have been doing neurofeedback at Oasis since 2017, I think it was, when we started working with the ClearMind system. Great system. Over the years, the management got worse and worse and frankly, unbearable to work with. So starting about a year ago, I, I uh, started looking into other options that we could switch to. And uh, if we're gonna make a switch, I actually even wanted to do an upgrade. And so searched and searched, uh, did a number of interviews with different companies and settled on this system from OSHA's labs and it is called Lens. It is a slightly different type of neurofeedback and that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is really just to educate our patients on a system that we have in the office that may be of benefit to some or even many of you. Um, I always will just, I, I wanna be upfront we have great services. Not every service or therapy is, no matter how fantastic it seems, is the right one for everyone. So I would encourage you ask your ask your main provider about it um, if it's a good idea. But um, you know, just want to let you know that I spent a year searching for this new system. We got it. We got trained on it in like first week of no, uh, November, 2023, I think. So we've been, it's been in our office, we've been using it for about three months um, and the results have been really good so far. Um, better, uh, it's, it's, it's more effective qu quick and quicker than our prior neurofeedback system. Um, Whereas in the past, it, when we recommended neurofeedback, it was a minimum of 10 sessions recommended, but usually more like 20 to 30 sessions. And then some, depending on the person's situation, it might even be a repeat of that. For Lens, most people, it's somewhere between five and 15 sessions, I would say. Now it's always good to redo a few sessions, you know, five to 10 sessions, maybe every six months, maybe once a year. Uh, depending on the situation, right? But I also always say I have yet to see a perfect brain. So Lens in our office, the new neurofeedback system is probably beneficial, at least a few sessions for most anyone. Um, has everybody gotten amazing results? No, of course not. Sometimes it's very subtle. Quite often times people, the patients don't notice a result but the people around them, family or friends, can actually notice a result. So that's always an interesting little conundrum there where pe the, the person is not aware that suddenly their memory is better or they are not getting as many migraine headaches, right? Um, or they just seem less on edge, but it's less on edge to the people around them, right? And so. Uh, I have, I'm gonna hold up this piece of paper here, try to hold it steady, but I'm gonna attach, we'll have the PDF of this attached to this, the email that goes out. We also have a stack in the office, so feel free to pick one up. Um, but you know, what, is, what diagnoses does it treat? It doesn't treat any diagnoses, and that's the point of this paper. So I encourage anybody interested, like pick up this paper, because here on this first column, it's gonna talk about things like, are there mood issues, right? Cognition issues, et cetera, et cetera. Motor function, motivation, anxiety, reactivity, pain, dependencies or addictions, fatigue, um, performance optimization, right? And then this is kind of the diagnosis column, ADD, TBI, like a concussion. Um, or stroke, um, autism, Asperger's, depression, right? Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. So these are um, more diagnoses, but really what does it do? What does Lens do? It's not that it treats these diagnoses, but it treats the underlying functional problem that creates the symptoms of depression, right? So going into the depression or the mood category, 
it works on anger, sadness, and explosiveness, and it works on those areas of the brain. And so I just, I don't want this video to go too long, but just want to let you know, we do have a new and improved neurofeedback system. It's called Lens Neurofeedback, or just Lens for short. And highly recommend anybody get this. Um, just two days ago, got a really awesome testimony. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but it was just long-standing, severe depression and he did five sessions and um, needless to say, dramatic improvement. And so that's the power. And just kind of to finish this off, I always like to think of how potentially beneficial may a treatment be versus how potentially uh, harmful might that treatment be. And Lens is one of those ones where it's like the potential upsides are huge they might range from just like mediocre to huge, but the potential downsides, there's almost no downside outside of time, money, and effort. And this is covered by Medicare, uh, for those of you who that applies to. And whereas for those of you without Medicare who might have to pay cash, the investment in your health is much more worth it than it was before because before we would have recommended most likely 10 to 30 sessions. Now we're recommending five to 15 sessions. It's literally cut in half. And so the, the cost is actually less and the value tends to be because the potential upside is so darned high for many people. Um, cost benefit analysis, it's usually like I mean, everybody's an individual, so that'll all leave up to you. But I just want to highlight, there's not very many downsides to this, unless you're a super sensitive person. Um, and then the downsides are super temporary, and they can absolutely be worked through in 99% of the situations out there. So just want to let people know that we do have this service. It's new, it's, it's an improved service that we've had for a while. Um, please take a look at the attached PDF here and or pick up a paper in, from the office. Dr. Yershwam, thank you very much.